All right, hey everybody, and welcome to part two of this Sonic 3 and Knuckles playthrough with Knuckles. I'm going to pick up exactly where I left it on the last playthrough. And hopefully, I'm going to be able to clear it all in one run and get all of um, get all of the hyper emeralds with knuckles. Hopefully, in one run. Now, I honestly feel that Knuckles has less opportunities at the special stages on the Sonic and Knuckles half of this game compared to um, the Sonic 3 half, but I'm not entirely sure exactly how many uh, um, Chaos Emerald opportunities there are on the Sonic and Knuckles half compared to the Sonic 3 part. I've never looked that up or counted myself, but I kind of feel that is the case, especially for Knuckles. But we'll see. Hopefully we can do it all in one run. So let's just get started with an easy one. Um, as I said in the previous playthrough, I do these special stages with the D-pad um, on the GameCube controller. That is what I'm playing, um, if you're curious. Um, I'm playing um, Sonic Mega Collection, the GameCube version. I do find that the analog stick's a little bit tricky um, for these special stages, so I kind of use the D-pad just for clearing them, although the D-pad on um, <laughs> the GameCube is, is quite small. If you've ever um, used the GameCube controller before, just look at the D-pad. Okay, so that's a good start. I want to start at the beginning of this stream off with uh, failing miserably. Super emeralds, sorry. I do apologise. Someone may have already corrected me. I called them hyper emeralds. Um, at the beginning. Okay, yeah, so Mushroom Hill Zone certainly um, been getting a lot of uh, attention lately. Um, I'm not going to go into spoilers, but if you've uh, seen the Sonic film, you'll know what I'm talking about when it comes to mushrooms. And if you haven't seen the Sonic film yet, then make sure you go out there and see it sometime soon because it is an awesome film. Had a lot of fun seeing it. But I'm curious, what is everyone's favourite stage on Sonic and Knuckles? For me, it's always been uh, Lava Reef. Always been my favourite level. I think mean, because both acts are so drastically different to the previous, um, the Act 1 looks completely different to what Act 2 does. And you could say the same about that for some of the other levels, especially like Sandopolis. Yeah, I love it. The theme of um, the theme of it, and everything. It's just, uh, yeah, it's awesome. Make that. Yeah, make 
special to find some of these hidden special stages. I know there's a few around here somewhere. It wasn't like, it's only about a year ago that I played uh, Sonic 4 Knuckles, but it's been a long time since I've played the Knuckles story version of this game. <clears throat> so I've forgotten a lot of the parts that are on here. Some of the alternate routes that Knuckles has. So I'm not going for a 100% completion of these special stages. I don't trust myself on that, on that today. We're just going to clear these. Not going for the perfection of the But that's fine. We should be fine. That's all of them in this start. Put a jump over here. I mean, honestly, I've got to say kudos to anyone that can get all of the rings on the uh, Sonic Mania special stages, which is essentially the same thing as this. I know they've put a couple other, a couple of the special stages from Sonic 3 and Knuckles on there, but there are some original ones on there. Some of them are really challenging. Now, I managed to clear them all, but um, I haven't yet managed to get all the perfect ring bonuses on all of them yet, where you get the gold coins. So... I think I just uh, ran out of patience. So kudos to anyone that was, has managed to do that, honestly. It's not easy. Okay, so that's not a bad start to uh, Super Emeralds on the first act. Let's keep it up. Oops. We nearly got a lot. Four more rings. Why is there another special stage down there? I think. Mm. Let's go back and have a little look, just in case. No, it's not. No problem. This is a lot more easier if you've got the flame shield. Yeah, that's gonna happen. It's okay. <laughs> we defeat him. And I know there's always a box under that first one. There it is. I'll switch for Nux.
Good stuff. Let's try to clear this row on the right first. Maybe that wasn't a good idea. This one's actually one of the trickier ones. Oh, cool. There's only a small amount of blue spheres on this one. Okay, so I'm not going to talk too much on the special stages. Definitely need to. Definitely need concentration on those. But I think we're off to a pretty good start. We'll do this one. This is my favourite of the special stages, the slot machine one. Well, it's not a slot machine, I guess. Uh, well, it technically is. Hmm. Almost got saved back up there. Bottom route there, but how do you get there? I can't remember. Let's try to go back. That's right, because I'm just going to go through this bit. That is cool, we've cleared a lot of special stages. Well, hopefully we can clear this one as well. And there's me saying that um, there's less opportunities in Sonic than I thought. I think I stand corrected. Whether this is, I think this is technically counted as the last special stage, this one. This is technically the hardest one to clear. You've got that bit at the end where you have to rely on hitting one of the um, metal spheres to go back to it. It's always a pain to learn that route. Um, um, especially when I used to play this uh, on its first release, this game. 
so you don't really have to rely on that mechanic on any of the other special stages where you're, you, have, you have to hit one of the metal spheres. speeds up again. Okay. No. No, no. Too, uh, too trigger happy there. Damn. It's okay. I think there's one more special stage on uh, Mushroom Hill Zone. Damn. It was right at the end as well. That's frustrating. Yep, that's awesome, and there's still another one towards the end of the level. So, I guess you can clear a lot of these early, but then again, I only remember um, the location of one special stage on Flying Battery. There's not many that I recall on Sandopolis. There is a couple. It's kind of like you have to really try to get these cow symbols early on the earlier acts. Unless you, you know, not me, and you can remember where a lot of the other locations are. Wow, that's a bit of uh, annoyance. I understand it, I pressed it. I guess, uh... <sighs> Did it too early. I'm getting uh, a bit too anticipated on that one. That's annoying, we would have had two more done. So finding all those special stages, extra ones by going back and um, I bugged it up. Because technically then you can actually get nearly all of the special stages just on this act. Uh, this act, this level, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna have a go, we're gonna go with one of the other ones just so I can make sure I actually clear another one. So how many levels? One over there. Three over here, so there's four still to do. Let's do this one. Okay, this one's not too bad. There's only 30 to get left. Okay, I need to be a bit more, I need to concentrate a bit more. There's nothing up here, that's right. Still, that's not bad. Clearing four in the first uh, first level. Three more to get. There would have been one more left if I had have uh, messed up twice. Now, I can never remember how to actually get in this secret part up here. Does anyone remember how to go in this compartment up here? It's like it goes up onto the wall there or something like that, but... Try not to die. Or 
a compartment is over here on the left. And I can't remember if you've got to press a certain uh, certain direction on the analog stick to get up there. Let's get that just in case. Shouldn't die, but just in case we'll get it. bosses for Knuckles that doesn't have any alterations or alternative parts to it compared to the other bosses because Knuckles um, kind of is like the hard mode of the story of this game. They make it a bit more challenging for him compared to Sonic's story. used to hate this level. Well, I did not hate it, hate it, but um, I always found this level um, a more trickier of the ones to complete, but it's kind of sort of been revealed that this level was originally going to be in Sonic 3, if I recall, one of the later levels, which kind of explains why this uh, my flying battery has a sort of a jump in the difficulty compared to Mushroom Hill Zone. Shouldn't have done that. Usually I can glide right way across and hit the hit the ramp. So I do enjoy uh, flying battery and um, Larvery that they put in uh, Sonic Mania. They are cool levels how they redid them. And I do enjoy the remixes they did on the themes for them, but I honestly I do prefer the originals to uh, Flying Battery and um, Larvery. I don't know why it's. I, I kind of felt like those tunes were already like, awesome, if not perfect as they were. I didn't really like the extra effects and sound effects they added on them. I don't know, not, not, I don't not like the songs, but I kind of still do prefer the um, originals. That's my honest um, take on it anyway. If you think um, otherwise, that's fine. Everyone um, likes different things. It's a very boring world if we all uh, agree with each other. Jumps a bit easier with the fire shield. Then put these uh, fire platforms here.
Whoops. It's fine. I'm not going for a high school or anything. Yeah, this is where it is. This is I think this is the only one I can remember on, on Flying Battery. If anyone's more familiar with this level, then um, put some of the locations in the uh, chat box as I'm playing this. And of course, uh, this will be uploaded after I've played it, but I'll remember future preferences. Now, this one is a tricky one to get all the rings on. So I'm going to have to try to find some of the special stages on um, Sandopolis and Lava Reef and that's it. They're the only other two levels left on here that has the special stages available. Otherwise I'm going to have to replay much of here. Oh, I've got to the end. So there's only two of these that activate by the call. It's this one and this one. Amazing how some people just don't forget. I suppose this is quite an interestingly unique boss, actually having the, uh, the capsule at the end of the level turn out to be a boss. Not the very cleverest of uh, <laughs> ad makes, that's for sure. I always prefer going the bottom route on this part. So 
So I am hoping to eventually start doing some um, gaming streams live sometime soon, eventually. Um, I've got a few problems with the internet at the moment, so um, to stream a game, it's kind of a bit unstable. The connection quality is not going to be very good, so that's why I've kind of been uh, doing recordings of it instead. Uh, once I eventually get something sorted with that, um, I'll pick up some gaming videos um, for my live stream. So I did do a few of those last year and they were quite fun to talk and uh, interact with someone while I was playing. I can answer your questions live while playing the game. So I, I, I will admit, I do like the uh, alternate version they did of this boss on uh, Sonic Mania. I thought that was quite clever. I didn't really, li I didn't really like the Act 2 boss for the Mania version of Flying Barry though. So this is the only level that Knuckles has on the game where he faces Robotnik as the actual uh, official boss. And I never really understood that. Uh, I never understood that when I was um, a kid playing this game. I never understood that. I was like, why is, uh, why is Robotnik this boss? Um, I, I kind of always thought maybe um, the developers just forgot to like put him in that part of the, the boss. But um, I mean, obviously it makes sense, this is like the bottom of the fortress. And um, it's a bit more of a trickier boss for Knuckles because he's continually um, shooting fire out of the top, as opposed to the Sonic version where the fire only comes out when you jump in the middle bit. goes up four times.
So I think we've come to everyone's um, favourite level, Sandopolis, right? Yeah, because I believe Flying Battery was meant to be originally the Fort Ice Cap Zone, because when Sonic opens the door here, that's the door he uses as the snowboard um, to jump into Ice Cap, which kind of makes sense, right? And that would, well, that would explain why Flying Battery has um, quite a difficulty curve when you compare it to Mushroom Hill Zone as like literally just the second level. This is uh, a lot of people's least favourite levels, um, at, uh, of, uh, at least Sonic and Knuckles, and I can see why it's a bit of a challenging one to get through and a little bit of a chore because it's a very more slower paced level, especially Act 2. And of course if you've uh, got a phobia of ghosts, you'll just like it even more. I always really like the heat effects there in this game, like the sort of light, blurry line pixels you've got in the background. So this does a really awesome job of depicting like heat in this game. For a 16-bit machine, I thought that was quite impressive. Hopefully we can find some of these class emeralds. go the bottom route but I don't think there's much down there. Okay, I think there's a special stage up there, but I'm not gonna make that. Is it possible for me to glide over there? Oh boy, didn't mean to do that. No, we did. Awesome. Hopefully that platform has come back down. Good. I'm sure there is a special stage. Yes. That's great. This one, I don't think it's too bad. Because the whole of the special stage is just the same pattern really, it doesn't really orcate too much. Alternate, sorry. Need to get my English out properly tonight. The last six down here. Great, so we've only got one special stage left to do. Awesome. I did always prefer special stages to kind of be hidden in the Sonic games. I mean, I, d I don't mind the idea of 50 rings and then going into the special stage, but I kind of I preferred more so to find them in the levels and the star posts were like kind of like a bonus game as well. But I kind of really really love Sonic Green Knuckles. 
of everything about it. Um, I think one of the most challenging games I've played to have access to uh, a special stage was Sonic Advance 2. Now that was a challenging game to get in the special stages. You had to get a combination, I think, of seven rings, and it had to all be on one playthrough of uh, the game. And that would access you to the special stage. And if you failed it, then you got to get all of the rings again. And the last special stage on that was very challenging. Um, managed to do it with all the characters. So you unlock Amy, if I recall, and you complete it with all the characters in the special stages. Good game, very good game. But yeah, that was definitely one of the most challenging uh, games for entering a special stage. If you've never played Sonic Advance 2, or any of the Sonic Advances, man, now you definitely can check them out. Very underrated games. Definitely a, uh, a series that Sega should uh, bring back or something one day as like a compilation. Okay, I'm sure there's a special stage up there. Can we go back? I don't think we can because there are things here. Oh, no. Mm, I don't know how we can do this. No, we can't. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose a life just so I go back and try to get that. There's definitely a special stage up there. I thought I was already at the end of the level, but that's why I jumped, um, jumped down and not on these things. I'll give it one more try. Maybe I can just glide over there from the top. Let's try that. That would be the obvious thing to try and do. Oh, yeah, of course, this walls here. Try to do this tactically. Okay. Let's wait for that. As we said earlier, definitely not a level to rush. This one, that is, is all of them done. Yes. Third time's the charm, hopefully. Right, we got them all. We 
haven't got to worry about looking for the Chaos Emeralds and Lava Rig now. Whew, we got all Super Emeralds. That's definitely not a good level if you've got high blood pressure. I don't have high blood pressure, uh, luckily, but <laughs> yeah. level on a turn here, but it's only 4 minutes 20, I suppose when you factor in the special stages and the restarts. He's got to be destroyed. Yeah, I was expecting something to happen, but I'm just trying to get through this level a bit quicker now. We're almost there. So, um, Sonic the Comet did an awesome uh, depiction this uh, pyramid and the boss for it. Really, really loved how they um, handled it. I mean, they essentially defeated it the same way as it is in this video game, you know, tricking it to go in the, um, the quicksand. But the design for um, the design for this boss in Sonic the Comet looks a lot better than what it looks like in this game. Doesn't mean it looks bad, but I really liked um, the design we had. If you haven't checked it out yet, make sure you check out Mystery of Sandopolis on um, uh, part two. I can't remember the exact issue number off the top of my head. It might be issue 47. Usually I like to... Uh, Um, I, I like to jump under him and then hit him from the right hand side. For some reason I always like to do this as well. <laughs> okay, so the ghosts are active straight away. Because technically it makes sense because Sonic's already uh, been on this level. So he would have pushed the switch already. Exactly the greatest idea to turn into uh, Hyper Knuckles uh, on this act because, like I said, you can't rush through it technically. You've got all of these little puzzles to do, and I don't know if I really want to run out of it. <laughs> Wow. There's a 
to say, that's what I get from trying to rush. sealed off and I've had to go all the way back. I was waiting for it though. It's kind of a, a little bit like the placement of the Metropolis Zone in Sonic 2. My god, them grasshoppers with the boom, the boomerang things they throw at you, whatever they're officially, officially called. The placements of them, my gosh, you want to talk crawl. Second. Okay, didn't realise I had over 50 rings. Well, we're being hyped for knuckles now, we like it or not. Boss for Knuckles on this one is a, it's a really quick version of it. They, they've sped it up dramatically. But where Hyper Knuckles are certainly not going to be a problem. I think there's a special stage up here, but we can get it for the 50 ring bonus. I could be mistaken, maybe there isn't. I don't think Knuckles can go to top route here.
do that. There's a special stage up here. Oh, it's in there, but maybe you can't get it. I just want to get the, the rings. Doesn't matter. <clears throat> I'm sure we'll be fine. Yeah. yeah, look at the speed of this boss. It's like they've doubled, if not trebled it. hit you, so I always try to avoid both of them, but then by some chance an accident and I was like, oh wait, that one doesn't hit you, which makes total sense, and I was like, <laughs> what an idiot. So I guess Lava Reef technically counts as um, <coughs> Knuckles' last level, because I know you technically got Hidden Palace and Sky Sanctuary, but Sky Sanctuary is technically just bosses for Knuckles and Hidden Palace is uh, very short. That's why I was kind of considered Lava Reef as the final level for Knuckles. Oh, that's right, you can't actually get over there with Knuckles. I remembered it being a flame shield. Oh well. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh boy, these ones are uh, frustrating bad things, right? We all know that. Many a time we got caught in their cloud and just died. Got a bit too eager there. This boss isn't too bad. A little bit of a chore to get through, I suppose.
So, in the first run, well, first run, first, um, back in the day, I actually owned Sonic and Knuckles before Sonic 3. Um, I don't really remember why. Um, I'm, sh I'm, I'm sure I got Sonic and Knuckles as a birthday present once. And, um, either I didn't know Sonic 3 either existed or something. Sounds a bit silly, I know, but remember there was no internet or anything back then. But it wasn't until I found out a game, uh, a friend had the game, and I saw it being played around there, and I was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Right, and the fact that I knew that it locked on to Sonic and Knuckles. So I'd already played, like, at that point, Sonic and Knuckles to, to death, literally. Um, so I kind of played the game in reverse, technically, if you look at the story point of view. That's right, before I actually owned the game, I rented it from uh, a rental shop um, back in the day because you know, we had things like Blockbuster and stuff back then. So, um, yeah, I managed to rent uh, Sonic 3 and then locking it in with uh, Sonic Knuckles and then I'd play the hell out of that game for like literally a whole weekend. And um, I was always disappointed sometimes because uh, I'd try to rent the game and it had already been taken. Um, damn, I wanted to get all 50 rings. Oh well. Um, yeah, and um, I always hoped that sometimes my save file would still be on there from when I last rented the game. And sometimes it was, sometimes it wasn't. But yeah, that was awesome times. And then it was eventually I managed to get the game from a friend uh, at the time. I think I paid £10 for it, which was very good price, but it was only the cartridge, unfortunately. Um, I'm guessing the guy I bought it off, like, trashed the box, like, just, you know, no. Um, how far is that going to take me back? I was on 2 minutes 20. One minute 30. Yeah, so, um, after many, many rentals of Sonic 3, I finally managed to get the game for £10. Yeah, I played literally the hell out of that game. Oh, there we go. So yeah, that's kind of my Sonic... Oh no, <laughs> not again. There we go. And that thing hits me. Um, eventually, of course, I did pick up uh, my own physical version of Sonic 3 with the box. Uh, a few years ago, I did meet uh, um, a portion of the, uh, one of the people who did uh, at least half of the cover art, for the box art for the uh, UK version um, of Sonic 3. Uh, Duncan Gutridge, who uh, drew Knuckles on the box art of um, the uh, UK or European, whatever version you want to call it, of Sonic 3. Really, really awesome guy and super talented. I'm pretty sure he's got like, a Facebook page or whatnot with his artwork. Definitely someone uh, check his artwork. Chances are you would have seen some sort of form of his classic artwork um, before. He's drawn a lot of um, classic Sonic artwork. Um, I think he did the Sega calendar from 93 or 4, I'm going to say. It might have been 92. And Sega reused a lot of his illustrations for that. In fact, some of them were actually used as posters in Sonic the Comic. So you guys definitely would have. Uh, some experience one way or another with Duncan Gutteridge's artwork. Super sweet guy as well. No, they can't, they, they won't let you cheese this part. That got spikes there. pretty much there and as you can see I haven't really come across any special stages and I haven't really been going in my way to look but um, I'm really glad I managed to get them all on Sandopolis. So here is obviously the famous part where Knuckles punches the boulder and Sonic falls down to the uh, Robotnik boss stage at the bottom of the volcano but of course Knuckles goes this way. And 
Hidden Palace. So of course the Death Egg has already taken off, which is why we don't see it in the horizon with Knuckles. So I don't really technically consider that a level. Like 10 seconds that took. But here we are, the final, uh, the final bosses for Knuckles. Gotta admit, this is a, it's a really awesome boss Knuckles has got for you there. And I've always been a fan of Metal Sonic or Mecha Sonic, whatever you want to call it, Metallics even. And I just love the idea of uh, Metal Sonic using the Master Emerald to power up. And again, of course, Sonic Comet did a fantastic job depicting that in uh, Sonic Comet. This is definitely one of my favourite of the uh, Metal Sonic bosses for a boss fight. Well, I've only actually turned into Hyper Knuckles um, once, I think, on this playthrough. Well, it doesn't matter, we saw him at least. That's the one attack you kind of want to avoid with Super. Super, super Metallic, technically, he is Super Sonic Comic Overlays. Yeah, let's try to avoid the charge. Called the last boss, and it was going to be easier. Usually, I have no problem with that. Well, last time. Mm. Let's try that again. I'm sure many of you will notice that I do use the Doomsday theme song a lot. Uh, 
bad luck, but yeah, as I was saying, I'm sure many of you will remember if you're familiar with the channel that I do use the Doomsday uh, theme a lot whenever Supersonic appears in uh, Sonic the Comic. I kind of feel like it really fits with this character well. Trying to be a bit greedy. I don't remember him doing too many of these spin attacks. I thought he usually did the laser thing. Pouring in there, that's great. Should be on the final phase now, where he floats. Yes. There we go, one hit. Great. That one's usually a bit more of the trickier ones to uh, do, but if you've only got him a couple of times, just go for it. Still, it's quite awesome that the boss had kind of like a pinch mode, I guess you'd call it. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? Um, it wasn't until more of the later games that bosses kind of had pinch mode versions of, them, of the bosses. But it's kind of one of the more earlier ones. And that's it, job done. So that took about an hour and 15-ish, nearly. Not bad, not bad at all. So thank you everyone for joining me on this uh, uh, playthrough, part two of Sonic 3 Knuckles. Probably would do another one on this game at some point of um, the Sonic um, story mode, because, you know, I love this game pretty much. Uh, but let me know uh, what game you potentially would like to see me do on another playthrough um, in the future. I'm pretty much open to playing most Sonic games, at least ones that are in my collection, and ones that I can actually stream. Um, so I can't do ones like uh, Knuckles KOX, unfortunately. I do own the game, but I do need a HDMI adapter to connect to my television. So until I get that, I can't do like that rare game i would like to play through that again at some point but pretty much most sonic games i will be able to stream whether it's uh, the classic mega drive ones slash genesis anything on the game boy advance because i do have the game boy player uh anything on anything modern games of anyone you want to see um i think i might do a little bit of a playthrough on sonic adventure at some point i've been itching to go and play some of the levels on that recently um, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic 06, I did do a playthrough of Sonic 06 about a year and a half ago I think, might have even been a bit longer than that, could do a bit more on that. Uh, any of the Wii games, Colours, uh, 
secret rings, Black Knight. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think. I might even do a poll actually to put a suggestion up of what um, people would like to see next on a game playthrough. I'm really enjoying going back to some of these old Sonic games. I've currently got no other kind of new games to play at the moment, so it's really been a lot of fun to go back and play um, some Sonic games, especially to share it with you guys as well, because I do love playing Sonic games and I really appreciate uh, interacting and talking to you guys while I'm playing it. It's always, always a huge um, blast and a lot of fun. Of the ultimate picture so i think if you don't get all of the emeralds you get um mecha sonic surviving and if you don't get any of like the emeralds or of the chaos emeralds that is i think um it's egg robo instead could be wrong i can't really remember entirely but let's go on there and just look at the completion pictures so there it is all characters with the completion um picture so we've got all of uh... Okay, so to get this picture of Knuckles, I think you have to just get all of the emeralds, but don't complete the game. Or I could be wrong. No, I think you do need to complete the game. <coughs> but don't do it if you've got all of the uh, super emeralds, and then you'll get this awesome picture of Knuckles. And then you've got Tails here. Does Tails have a different picture if you get all of the emeralds? I'm judging by the fact that I've got the ultimate completion picture there, then maybe he doesn't. Unless I might have completed it by mistake. But this playthrough had 28 lives. That is cool. But there it is. There's all the characters. Save that. But yeah, I'm going to probably maybe have a go at a few more of these other games in a, on another stream. 3D Flicky's Island I've been kind of leaning towards going back and doing another playthrough on. I haven't played that in years and I do quite enjoy that game. Spinball even. I do enjoy Spinball. Flicky and Ristar. Maybe even Flicky. Technically Sonic related, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, that's everything guys. I'm going to wrap this up here. Thank you very much for watching this video, especially for you guys that made it all the way to the end. Um, if you're watching this on the live playthrough uh, on YouTube right now, then thumbs up to you guys. Thank you for being here. And if you're watching this on a replay, once the video goes up, then you guys are awesome too. So take care of yourselves, everyone. See you on the next stream.